I do not want to preach to you. Let us simply speak with each other. And Yola, I see you there. I can hear the question on your lips before you speak. You wonder, Fra Girolamo, how can you debase a man who serves as the mouthpiece of God? Fair question. I answer you thus. My own eyes have gazed into the light of the Holy Spirit. The light illuminates truth. If the light deceives me and I deceive you, then God deceives. Do you believe God would deceive us? No. But you? Lapsero. You wonder what did the light illuminate? I answer Rome. Rome, a city of winding streets and dark recesses with shadows cast not by buildings, but by people. Yes, that's Rome. In Rome, there are more prostitutes than Monte Cassino has friars. This culture of sin extends all the way. No, I do not point to heaven, but at Alexander, who brings the entire church to his level of debauchery. We tried to turn this into a crossbow. One priest sleeps with his concubine, another with a boy. <laughs> the next morning, both perform holy mass. But we will need more than a palm frond to kill that lion. What do you make of such a mass? Niccolo Machiavelli. But what's that so very strong? You ask, why does God speak to me and not to the Pope? Oh, he does, but Alexander will not listen. There is a different Already congregation in Florence anxious to meet you. We will send word as to when. Where? Just now, Alexander has offered me a cardinal's red hat in exchange for my submission. You, stranger, would you accept such an offer? Would you take more power in exchange for your soul. I stand among you, fellow Christians, to make this solemn vow. No hat will I wear, but that of a martyr, reddened with my own blood. <laughs> 